and Maria, uh, you, there are there are people who are dedicated simply to covering um, the Italian volatility. This is a country um, that's had, I think, more political regimes than any other in the Western world since World War II. Yeah, uh, well, Matt, there's a lot of volatility. I personally love it. But to say uh, right now, there this is a, a very delicate and a serious note uh, situation for the Italian government and for Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte, who is speaking, as you mentioned before, lawmakers today in the lower house. We know that he's going to get a majority on that vote. What really matters will be the Senate uh, tomorrow. And this is a delicate situation because he is really trying to hunt votes from everywhere. He wants to cling on to this majority. And today he is just to give you an idea of the speech that he's making, he's saying uh, we need to remember that we're in the midst of a pandemic, that we really do need national unity at this point. And he's also hinting uh, that perhaps he would be willing to delegate more if tomorrow he wins that vote in the Senate. Because uh, remember, Matt, a lot of the criticism towards Giuseppe Conte is really around this idea that he has amassed a lot of power in a crazy way. You know, he has a recovery fund, he has the emergency powers uh, pegged to coronavirus, and he's also popular. When you look at Italian politicians, he's still pulling number one. So that means that for everyone else, Giuseppe Conte is not really leaving a lot of room for other parties, for other political figures to emerge. And that has created uh, tension, especially in the center left of the uh, political spectrum. Now, as I said, the big question will be tomorrow, that vote in the Senate. It's unclear which way it's going to go. If you look at the Italian press that is close to Giuseppe Conte, they say that he will get the votes, that he can still uh, cling on to those votes. But again, when you look at the mats, it's not so clear. And just as a final point, uh, Matt, the the timeline here is also further complicated by the fact that the president of the Italian uh, Republic is also going to be reelected, and after July, he won't be able to call an election. So if there was to be an election, it needs to happen in the next few weeks, and this is happening in the midst of a pandemic, which to some extent means that the prospect of a snap vote is moving further away because it would be very difficult logistically to do a national election in these conditions. All right, Maria, thanks very much. Maria Tadeo, Tadeo there talking about the Italian government.